Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, I'm gonna do a video of how to MU or consist locomotives. Uh, now that I have two DCC locomotives and I know which one moves faster, this one actually moves faster than the Broadway, so I have them set up like this. Now, I know you'll never see Canadian National and Santa Fe together, but since these are the only two that I got, this is what I'm gonna do. So, to MU it, first it says, or I know how to do it. Um, we, we have to have a top address, so the one that's in the lead, the first locomotive you put in. And then you hit the MU button, and then you add. No, that's not the number you're going to type in. You'll type in the address of your secondary locomotive, or the second locomotive on the list. And then you'll hit loco. Or no. Okay, oops. You're going to hit the MU button. And then you're going to hit the C plus button. So now I have the two locomotives, and I'm going to apply track power, tell them forward, and they will both run forward together. Um, okay. And then they should both run reverse together. Let's see if I can turn on them. Come on, 549. Okay, well, they're not, they're not exactly wanting to work together. There we go. Okay, now I got headlights. So we're going to back them up to the train cars and we're going to back them up to each other. I need to speed up. They're actually pretty good at running. They run about the same speed, so they're they're pretty good. Um there we go. So now we have the two locomotives running together. Hmm, it's on, but it's not. It's not muting. There we go, now I finally got it to mute. Um, okay. It's still in gear, though. So I'm gonna put them in forward. And I'm gonna cut out the lights just so y'all can see the headlights of the locos, so... Oop, that's a fan. There we go. Okay, so now y'all be able to see the headlights of the locomotives. And now we also have track power, and I got the... I got the roadway muted so that y'all can hear what I'm saying. Um... I just gotta find my middle piece, there we go. Okay, so y'all should be able to see the locos, and they're going to come into view. And bring the two into view. And they actually don't want, they're not too bad together, actually. I, I have a very big consist on the two. But they're doing very good together. They run pretty good. So we're going to give them power. And they, they definitely have the power to run together. I mean, they're actually... You always want to have the faster one, so you always have a constant pull on the couplers instead of having a constant push on the couplers. Because a constant push can cause the can cause the spring to break, and you don't you don't want the spring broken. So breaking the spring is not a good idea. So I have the two that are I have the faster one in front. Oops, I fell. <laughs> They're doing very well together. I mean, they both have their lights hooked up. And I'll give the Broadway back sound so y'all can hear. So I can actually hit loco, hit the recall button, and use the MU unit and still run it. So I can actually blow the horn and everything still. So it actually sounds like they're both, they both have their sound. They both have sound, but really only one of them has sound. I would actually, I'd rather have the Broadway in front, but that wasn't working, so. But I'm actually gonna t turn off the roof light because normally they don't have light. They don't have the roof light on when they're running consist, so I won't have my roof light on. Usually, the, usually the top locomotive does not keep its or the back. Normally, the locomotive in the back does not keep its lights on when it's running, because there's really no point. Now you're just, back, now you're just lighting up the, the rear of the of the other locomotive. But I'm keeping the ditch lights on only because I like the ditch lights. But the front locomotive always has its headlights on. And I can actually turn them off if I switch back to it. But I still have control over the both of them. Oh, maybe I don't. Okay. I don't have control over them unless I switch back to the other locomotive. Which I should probably do, but I don't really feel like it right now. So... And actually, I think if I just... Nope, maybe not. Okay. Let's not do that. Okay. 
So we still have D locos. If I hit if I hit recall and go back to 549, I have control over it, and now I have control over the speed. So now I can turn off and on my headlights and slow them down. And back to um, okay, I think I just unmuted them, maybe, or no, I know what happened. The um, Broadway slows down faster than the Dash 8 does, so the Dash 8 just stopped and the Broadway kept going. But the Dash 8 weighs more, so the Dash 8 has power over the Broadway. And when, when the Dash 8 says stop, everything stops. So, there they are. Oh, dang it. I'm going to switch back to, so if you want to switch to the other loco, you just hit this, hit the recall button, then the secondary, and it'll also flash the EMU light, and then you just press the loco button again. And now I have control over the other one. The, what you call, man, I'm having fun, oh man, okay, they came uncoupled actually, it's kind of weird. But, I'm gonna try to bring them into pictures so that y'all can actually see the y'all can see both of them, maybe. So right now I'm actually working with the Broadway so I can break it. I thought I had power over it, maybe I don't. So that's about it, or I'm actually going to show you how to uncon system. So to uncon system, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna first just go ahead and unhook them. Now, I'm going to go back to my thing here. I'm going to cut the track power. And what we're going to do, is first I'm going to flip the page so I know what I'm doing. Um, so now I have this. Let's go back to the head. That way I just know... That way we're starting with, oh, oops, maybe not. Okay, let's go back to that so we know what we're doing. Okay, so it wants me to go back to this and the MU and the function later on, like it says. So, now it wants me to hit the MU key, which will make the MU light flash. And then I'm going to hit the C- minus button, and now they're both independent. So I'm going to hit the loco button, recall, go back to this one, turn on the track power again, and I'll show you which one I have now. I only have control over the one, and then I have to switch back to the dash nine, or now I have to switch back to the, to that one to get, I have to switch back to the 40 dash two to regain power of it. So that's about it. Um, if you have any problems or anything, um, contact me or con or go to your Digitrex Zephyr, Digit, or Digitrex command control starter manual and it'll tell you everything right here on page um, 35 is how to unconsist 33 is how to consist so basic basic instructions um y'all got to see how they run together always put the faster loco in front because when the faster loco is in front that way there's a constant pull that way there's always pulling on the coupler and that's better because when you have the train cars hooked up there's always a constant pull, right? So you want a constant pull on the front couplers of the locomotive and the back couplers of your locomotive. So that way it's always a nice, you get a nice run and you're not beating the crap out of your couplers. And if you have two locomotives that run the exact same speed, so say I had two of these or two of those. So if I had two of those, two exact same, except for maybe the paint scheme. Um, say I had another Broadway Limited SD40-2 of the same production line they'd be fine to run together because they should have the they should be exact same under the shell they should be exact same so actually you should, you'll probably put any broadway limited loco together with any broadway limited loco same thing with the dash nine or dash eight um so any of the broadway limited diesels can go along with that as long as they're within the same year of production because you never know when they might change their motor and drive in the drivetrain and the locos so just you know try to keep it try to keep them together and that's about it um thanks for watching um 10 seconds <laughs> thanks for watching guys um that's it thanks